Hello and welcome again. Before we proceed further in this lecture, we will talk about what we have done so far and where we will go from here. So far in the previous lecture, we had configured two private heartbeat links after installing the hypervisor with a shared storage. The storage is not initialized within the virtual machines for now. We will deal with it later. Then we install the VCS engine 7.4.2 on top of our two nodes to form a two node cluster. The cluster has a default service group up and running. Next, we will define application service group, which will be highly available and will work seamlessly among both of nodes if in case one node fails. Now imagine yourself as a VCS system administrator in fast growing company. Your company is selling its products online and there are multiple web servers running in the background to serve your website. Now the system administrator of your company has come to you. They need a share folder which should be highly available and fault tolerant. They cannot afford to lose the share at any cost. Hence they are looking for a vital solution. Now the burden is on you since you have to provide this solution. But you will be happy to know that 50% of the work you have already completed. What I mean by that is we already have our VCS cluster up and running working like a charm. The remaining 50% we will figure out what do we need. In our previous discussions we know that the resource combined are called service group. In this case the system administrators are asking for your help to provide them a service group which is highly available. Therefore we will create a service group named HA share. The HA share does not do anything. A service group is nothing without its resources. Next, we have to find out what sort of resources we have to configure. From the discussion, it looks like we need to have a mount point. So we will configure a mount resource. We know that a mount point cannot exist until it has a place to set on. Therefore, we will create a disk group. The disk group will be created on a shared storage which we configured earlier in the lab. After the disk group, we have to have something known as file system in between. So the disk group will contain file system. In turn, we will have mount point sitting on that file system. Now we have figured out we have the mount point to provide it to the system administrator. However, we are not done yet because we have to make sure this mount point stays highly available regardless of the node getting down. In order to share this mount point, we know we need an IP address and IP addresses can be configured on IP resources. IP resources, however, they cannot do anything until they have bounded with NIC. So we will need a NIC resource. And finally, we will have fully functional high availability resource to serve our cause. This service group, you can happily deliver to the system administrators. It will help them to achieve their goals. In the next lecture, we will continue configuring our service group and resources.